Welcome to Yoga Tropics. Start in child's pose, knees wide, big toes together, heels fall open. And extend the upper body forward, forehead down, fingers fan wide. And just start to initiate your ujjayi breath in through the nose, out through the nose. Sounds like the ocean. You can come back here if you're feeling tired, overwhelmed, just need a break. Nice time to set an intention for your practice. Sending good energy. One more breath here. And then we'll rise onto all fours, tabletop position. Fingers fan wide for some cat cow. And as you inhale, belly down, lift the tailbone, the chin, look up. And exhale to curl your spine. A few rounds on your own, evening the breath. Really utilize all the pads of your fingers. Root firmly, palms, knuckles, fingertips. Really grip the floor with your hands. Just taking another round or so and pause back in tabletop. Curl your toes, press the floor away, downward facing dog. And you can bend out your knees, maybe a little yes, a little no with your head. Warming up your lower body joints. Press the floor away, belly to your thighs. Relax your jaw, your neck, your face. You can lift onto the toes and press the heels down. It feels good in your body here. It's also a rest pose to so come back to at any time. Another deep breath. At the bottom of your exhale, Look for super easy. This first one, just walk your feet forward, grab your elbows. Utanasana, easy ragdoll. You can rock right and left. Lean your weight forward and back. Relax the jaw, the neck. Relax through the muscles of your face. So let your upper body hang here, leaning forward. And then we'll go for a gorilla grip. Parastasana, step onto your palms. Inhale, look up and exhale, fold, head down. Elbows wide if they're bending. Lean your weight forward as you press the feet down. As much as you press your feet down, pull with your hands. Tailbone to sky, belly, thighs connect. Safest positioning for your lower back here. Just taking another nice deep breath in, exhale. And release, you can either rise up flat back, soft knees, a little more gentle, or uncurl your way up. Moving into side bend, Chandrasana. Feet together, you may stagger with your neighbors. If you're in a group, interlock fingers, palms together, rock right and left. We'll warm up. And then we'll pause back in the center. Reach up and over to your right, pressing the hips to the left side of the room. Palms glued at the wrists, arms as straight as they go. Press firmly through your feet, your legs. You could lift your toes for more challenge. This engages the arches of the feet. We'll rise through center and lift up and over to the left. Just at your own pace, moving with the breath. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, reaching. Front of the throat visible forward. Relax the face. One more deep breath here. Now we'll use an inhale to rise center for back bend, Anuvitasana. You may like to separate your feet, hips with distance, toes are straight, feet, hips width easier to balance. Press your hips forward, maybe even walk your hands on the backs of your legs. More depth in your back bend. Weight into the heels, lift the heart, go back, fall back. Another nice deep breath here. Strong, straight legs. On an inhale, stand here. Exhale, fold forward, belly, thighs, head down. Inhale, halfway lift. Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, plant your palms, walk to plank. Shoulders over wrists, fingers fan wide, Dandasana, lowering Chaturanga. Order your belly if this is too much. Inhale, throw a back bend, up dog, knees off the floor, straight arms, and exhale, roll over your toes, downward facing dog. Of course, you can always modify Cobra. Inhale, right leg lift, step forward, high crescent pose. Stand the ball of the left foot with the option to lower the back knee. 
Hands to hips, ground through your lower body, and on an inhale, arms overhead. Fingers fan wide. You can look to the ceiling, maybe even a deep back bend, or just look forward. Lunge low, take another deep breath in, and exhale, palms either side. Right foot step, plank, vinyasa flow. Inhale, through your back, bend your shoulders down. Exhale, lift the hips, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg lift, soft landing, step forward. Stay on the ball of the right foot, sink low front knee. And whenever you feel grounded and strong in your legs, arms can float up at any time. Fingers fan wide, energy through the fingertips. Squeeze your back leg or the knee on the floor. Reach a little higher, maybe back bending a little further. On an exhale, frame the left foot, step to high plank. Lower halfway, Chaturanga, inhale through your up dog, Urdhva Mukha Svanasana, exhale, down dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Lizard, big toes touch, right leg lift, step to the outer edge of your right hand. Drop left knee to the floor, arms are straight, you can stay here the whole time. Fingers fan wide, pull the floor back, maybe you drop your elbows down one at a time. Hands to prayer, you can rest forehead to thumbs. You can even go palms flat, middle finger straight here. You can engage that back leg for added challenge or just keep the knee on the floor. Deep inhales, deep exhales. Melt the hips, the heart, long spine. We'll lower that back knee for a half split, Ardha Hanumanasana. Fold over the right leg, belly, thigh, chest, knee. Extend the crown of the head towards the top of your right foot. Long spine here, hearing the breath. And then rebend the right knee, 90 degrees. Feet hips with toes are straight. Left arm lifts, hook twists, hands to prayer. Press your right palm into your left. Inhale, extend, lengthen. Exhale, twist. Maybe you want to open up your arms or add a reverse bind if that's a new practice. Lean your upper body back, squeeze the back leg straight or the knee on the floor. Another nice deep breath, lengthen and revolve open. Hear your breath. And then when you're ready to look down, plant the palm, step to plank. Vinyasa flow, long neck, big exhale, downward dog. Feet together, lift the left leg, step to the outer edge of your left hand. Right knee to the floor, you can keep your arms straight again here, soft elbows. Maybe lower your elbows to the floor, see Heidi has the back of her hands to the mat. Nice little wrist stretch out for all those planks that we're doing, you can lift that back knee. Long spine, deep full breaths. Guiding the left knee to the left shoulder as you lean left, level the hips. Now we'll lower the right knee, rise through your palms. Straddle the left leg. Lengthen as you fold, crown of toes. Bending left knee as much as necessary here so that your belly and thigh connect. Safest positioning for your low back. Left toes are flexing to intensify your stretch. Achilles, calf, hamstrings, all along your spine. Then we'll re-bend that left knee. Feet hips with toes are straight. Right arm sky, hook twist, right elbow outer left knee, hands to prayer, thumbs to the sternum at the center of your chest. Maybe you want to open your arms or add your bind here. You could engage the back leg. Either way, whether you're lifting back or you're not, counter twist here, right hip higher, hips level, lengthen and revolve. And then release the palms on an exhale, the plank, high push up, inhale, exhale halfway, inhaling through the back bend, and exhale, down dog. Couple breaths here. Bottom of your next exhale, look forward. You could walk or float. Feet hips with toes straight, hold your elbows. 
sway or pause. Maybe you want to interlock fingers behind you and encourage the palms together, arms as straight as they go. You could bend your elbows to bring those palms closer if your wrists start to bother you. Vibrations of your fold. And move into Padangustasana, big toe stretch. Peace fingers, grab your big toes, lean forward and fold. Elbows wide if they're bending. If you're feeling a pinch between the shoulders, you can squeeze the elbows to the alley legs. Big toes press down as you pull peace sign fingers. Lift your hips, lean forward, belly to thighs. Pull. Breathe here. Release to flat back, tadasana, or uncurl. Second back bend, hands to glutes. You can slide down the backs of the legs, fingers point down, your legs are straight, weight in the heel. Go back, fall back, lift your heart. Lengthen through the crown of the head. Another nice deep breath, toes are light or even lifted. Inhale to stand and then exhale to fold forward. Inhale to a halfway lift, lean forward, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, plant the palms, walk to plank or float into Chaturanga. Inhale through a back bend, shoulders down and exhale over the toes, down back. Into our warrior shapes. Right leg lifts, step forward between the hands, plant your left heel 45 degrees, heel to heel align. Sink below front knee, square your hips and shoulders forward. And on inhale, arms overhead. Fingers fan wide, sink below front knee. Look forward or lift the gaze. And on exhale, open warrior two. Back foot can wide and parallel, short edge of your mouth. Front knee 90, arms are straight and strong. See past your right fingers, reach and tilt, bent knee, trikonasana, triangle pose. Elbow inside the knee, or you can reach for the floor, left arm overhead, extended side angle pose. Revolving heart open, and then we'll look down, reverse your warrior. You can bend left elbow across your back for support or slide your left palm down the back left leg. Right arm is straight, big breath in. Exhale, windmill palm, step plank, vinyasa. Follow your breath, exhale, downward dog. Inhale, left leg lifts. Step through, plant right heel 45 degrees. Square hips and shoulders to the front. And on an inhale, it's rooted through the legs, the arms lift. Hear your breath, arms are straight. Seal the outer blade of the back foot. Exhale, open warrior two. Back right foot can widen towards parallel short edge of your mouth. Stay strong in the lunge. See past your left fingers. Reach and tilt, left elbow inside knee, right arm vertical or you might like to touch the floor, outer edge of your left foot, left hand, right arm overhead. See that right palm. Spiral the right shoulder back, heart open. And reverse your work. Backward bend, elbow across low spine. Lift the heart, left arm is straight. Big breath here. And an exhale to windmill your palms. High plank, step back. Vinyasa lower, halfway, up dog or cobra inhale. Exhale, down dog. I'm starting to sweat a little now. We have a second set with some variations. Right leg lifts. Step forward, plant your left heel. Arms overhead, palms together. See your thumbs above the heart. Hands a little forward, arms straight. Big breath in. Exhale, warrior two. Palms face skyward. Sink low front knee and on an inhale, right leg straight, reach and tilt. With the trikonasana, straight leg triangle, lean your upper body back. Gaze towards left thumb. Shoulders in front of your hips. Another nice deep breath and reverse to the side. You can keep your legs straight. You could lunge into the front knee. One or both arms stretch back. Any variation with the arm. And exhale, lunge into right knee, step to high plank, vinyasa. Exhale, down. Left leg lifts, final side warrior, step through, right heel plants, 45 degrees, arms overhead, 
palms together. See your thumbs. Arms straight and slowly, mindfully with breath. On your exhale, open warrior two, palms face skyward, more external rotation of your shoulders. Lunge low. On an inhale, straight left leg, reach tilt, straight leg triangle. Reach the floor, left fingers, lean upper body back, gaze right thumb. And reverse your warrior to the side. You can lunge, one or both arms extend behind you, breathing here. And then lunge, windmill your palms, step to plank, vinyasa flow. Inhale, back bending. Exhale to down. Couple deep breaths here. Press your belly towards your thighs. Tailbone skyward. Re-engage here through your hands. Reach firmly, palms, knuckles, fingertips. Press the floor away. Bottom of the exhale, look forward. Bend the knees, walk or float. Hips lift toes straight, grab your elbows. You could go for an interlock grip behind your back again here if you wish to open your shoulders a bit more. You can pause in stillness or sway the upper body right to left. Move into our final fold, pedas does the hands to feet pose from behind. Coheal your feet all the way together, no gaps between. Reach behind, grabbing calves, ankles, or under your heels. Lean forward. Doesn't matter how low the grip is, but can you get your pinky fingers to touch? Belly to thighs, chest, knees, face, shins. Lean forward. Straighten the legs as much as they go, keeping that upper, lower body connection. Pull the crown of the head towards the feet. And then release. You can uncurl your way to standing vertebra at a time or flat back to stand. Arm side, palms forward. Close the eyes. Take a few breaths, maybe with the feet hips width. Moving into our strength and Utkatasana chair, feet hips with toes forward, arms parallel to the floor, and on an exhale, squat down, work the thighs towards parallel, just not lower than your knees is ideal for safety of the knee joints, chest lifts, shoulders back, you're meeting your spine to the back of a chair, and lift your ten toes, so the toes are straight, and then straighten your legs, Rise to the ball mounds of the feet, you can stay there. You can start to bend your knees, add a challenge and strength, or not, staying with straight legs. Either way, again, thighs parallel or higher than the knees. Heels lift up and forward, shoulders back, arms are straight, energy through the fingertips. Maybe even a little smile. Rise up, lower your heels. Shift off the heels an inch or two. Squeeze your knees and thighs together. And slower than you want to slide your spine down a wall. Knees point down towards the floor. Shoulders back. Arms are straight. How is your breath here? You could hover off your calves if this feels a little bit too easy. Another nice deep breath. Maybe you rise an inch before you press all the way up. And then exhale your arms to your sides. Feet together for Garudasana Eagle. Close your neighbor, stack your arms overhead. Exhale, right arm under left arm. Grab your shoulders or thumb. Sit low. Right leg over the left. Steer your knees to the right. Lean your upper body back. Can you stack the elbows, knees, and ankles all in one line? If you'd like to go for the variations, fold forward, sleeping eagle pose. Belly, right thigh, elbows, top knee if available to your left knee. Could unravel for a warrior three, left leg back. Both legs straight up there. If not, keep squatting low. Another deep breath. Slow to meet the feet together. Arms overhead. Palms touch. Left arm under right arm. Sit low. You can grab your shoulders if you're not reaching your thumb. Here, sit low. Left over right leg. Steer your knees to the left. Lean your upper body back. Level your shoulders, your hips. Stack the joints. You can stay right here the whole time, or you could add the forward fold. Belly left thigh, elbows top knee if available. Bottom knee, closing gap, upper low body. If you're unraveling for warrior three, the right leg will stretch back. Press through your heel, toes flex to point down. Deep full breaths here. And slow to release. Arms overhead, take your time in the transitions. Exhale, arm side. And reset. Take a water break there if you wish. Move into standing head to knee next. Sway it on to your left foot with the right leg parallel to the floor. 
Interlock grip below right knee. Pull chest forward, shoulders back. Perfect here. You can stay the duration, or if you're going further, curl in for the ball of the foot. Toes flex towards you. And then if you're extending forward, heel the mirror. Toes towards your face. Go one step further. Curl down, bend the elbows. Forehead to knee. And if not, chest to mirror. Or to the wall you're facing. Strong standing leg. Hear your breath. And it's time for you to reverse. Slow to move back to standing. Weight onto the right foot. So straight, flex your left toes. And then lock and grip under the left knee or shin. You can stay here the whole time. Foundation or curl into the foot. If you have low back injury, go for your hamstrings instead. And if you're extending forward, it's the same whether you have hamstrings or foot, you can guide that heel towards the wall that you're facing. Toes flex towards you. Either stay upright or curl in, forehead to knee. Strong standing leg. Take your time when you transition up. Standing bow point, Pandemana Dhanurasana. Right palm up, lower palm, grab inner right foot, knees touch. Left arm up and back. Stay here. Start to kick and pull evenly on your right side. Right knee in, right hip down. Once you can't kick and pull anymore, hinge at your hips to deepen the back bend. Strong standing leg. Touch the ceiling with your right toes. Left finger. Steady gaze. One point that doesn't move forward in front of you. Go a little higher and then release. Weight onto the right foot. Lower down your left palm. Grab the inner left ankle, knees together. Right arm up and back. Before you go anywhere, that right arm goes way behind you. Kick and pull evenly here on the right side. Move to your left arm to sky. Strong standing leg. Last couple breaths. See your toes overhead. Kick a little higher. And then reverse slowly out. Front side. Step to the back of your mat. Four your three. Arms overhead. You can interlock fingers or in the across the thumbs or the palms face each other. Right foot center mat. Hinge forward. Capital T. Your hips are square. The arms are straight. Upper body, back leg long. Big breath here. We'll exhale for airplane arm back. Palms down or you can interlock fingers. Palms can press together. Oops, square. Stay there or fold forward. Forehead to your right shin. You can pull on your right calf even. Lift the left leg to sky. And then step it back. Feet together. Arms overhead. And the interlock fingers or palms facing is more for strength. Left foot forward. Mop the back toes and hinge into your capital T. Palms glued together, reach for extend back, strong standing leg, and an exhale. You can float your arms back, palms down, stay there, or interlock your grip. Bring shoulders a little bit more with the interlock grip here. You can stay back bending, hold time, or fold into your standing split. Forehead to the left shin, right leg is straight and lifting higher. And you add a pull on your left deepens the flexibility of the hips. When you step back, left knee bends, feet together, arms overhead and to your sides. Standing separate legs, stretching next, face towards the right. Feet together, arms overhead, big step out. Three to five feet or so, interlock grip, lift your heart. You take a back bend before you fold forward. Arms overhead, Shoulder stretch. You could go right into the pull on your calves, your ankles, your feet. It's a different focus. Maybe you add the pull once you work the shoulder stretch a little bit. Crown of that extends down to the floor. You're leaning forward, hips above the ankles. Can you bend the knees as much as you need to? Any variations. If you have an inversion practice, you could add your headstand, as Teresa is doing in the center. You might take a twist as Margaret is showing on the right. Adding any 
binds, lean forward, toes are light. A little freestyle time here. As long as you're breathing, even if you just want to hold in the center, you work a nice fold. Make sure that you get both sides of your twist. Notice Margaret did her twist earlier, so now she's enjoying her fold a little longer. Heidi's an open twist, and Tracy in the center is doing the bind and the pull on the left ankle. Just the twist right elbow towards the floor. Halfway lift before you stand. You can shorten the stance either when you're down or once you come up. Just a little more, a bit more, a foot or two. Pivot on the heels, face the back of the room, fold over your left leg. If you're over your right leg, that's fine too. The left leg more for pancreas. Blood sugar balancing, press through your fingers. Create space, upper body, lower body, any variations that you want to add. Great. Heidi and Margaret are doing pyramid pose, hands back, more chin to shin. Tracy is curled in. Get the space between the eyebrows to the knee. And then when ready to stand, rise halfway, hands to hips, uncurl, pivot center, and all the way forward. So if you're with us, you're over your right leg here. Either way, as we get both sides, we'll curl in, forehead, right knee, your hips square. Majority of the body weight shifts into that right leg. Hollow belly. Press through your fingertips adding any variations that you did before. This is a nice spot if you wish to add a twisted triangle or a half moon, revolve half moon. Or you could just breathe right here, keep it simple. Always nice to do digestive massage. It's also great for your metabolism, your thyroid in the throat. Spine long. And then you curl, feet together, arm side. We're definitely sweaty. Get into our tree, weight into the left foot, right foot above or below the knee. Half prayer, full prayer. If your foot's not slipping, you could take a full prayer. If it is, you're going to hold right hand for right foot. Any arm variations? You see a reverse prayer with Heidi, prayer to the heart. You could interlock fingers, arms overhead, or even add a back hand. If you like to lift your gaze. You can even take some long blinks here. Maybe you have a toe stand practice you can add. Slow to reverse out, hands to center. And then lower your right foot. Switch sides whenever you're ready. Take your time at slow control. Left foot above or below the knee, inner calf the thigh, or the heel below the hip. Half prayer, full prayer. Any arm variations, reverse prayer. Sometimes it's nice just to keep it simple and press your palms together. Pretty nice. Feeling of balance. Connecting to the heart space. Shoulders are relaxed. Spine is tall. Strong standing leg. Strong focus. deep breath when it's time to reverse out see we came in malasana yogi squat toes out heels in eventually heels find the floor hands to prayer at your heart elbows in front of your shins A nice hip stretch here spinal extension chin down the back of the neck as well you can close your eyes any movement you can add some twists and turns maybe a crow pose here if you wish to skip that part just lie onto your back and rest in shavasana eventually we're moving there different for everyone depending on the day. If you're resting in Shavasana, corpse pose, palms up, shoulders down away from the ears, feet flop open, preparing for our floor series. Wind removing on the right. Bend the right knee towards your right shoulder, interlock ten fingers below the knee and pull out around avoiding your Flex both of your feet, especially the left foot. Take a 
You should feel standing on that left leg. You should feel a pinch in your right hip. Stimulating the ascending colon. Oh, with each exhale a little more. Massage your finger joints. And then release your right leg. Left knee, left shoulder. Pull out around the the ribs. Massage your fingers. Pull and squeeze. Flex your right foot, your right leg center. Knee to shoulder, so you're avoiding the rib cage. Another nice deep breath. Just in the on the side. For digestion, elimination. Next is both knees to chest. Nice bear hug. Press your tailbone through the neck flat. Eventually your whole spine is on the floor. So we're nice and sweaty here. Feet to the mat. Right ankle, left knee. Palm press your thigh away. That might be enough for reach through the triangle. Interlock fingers on the shin. If that's too much, you can go to your hamstring so that your tailbone stays down. Right knee away, left knee towards you. Let's go feet. Switch sides. Feet down, left ankle, right knee. Reach through the triangle, interlock on shin or hamstring, or you could just press your left thigh forward with your left palm. And I feel like enough here. Eventually, both knees come into one line. Equal breaths. Outer hip stretch. Great for some long holds in these hip stretches here. Hips generally tend to be tight, especially when you stress a little bit. Feet together, or rather feet on the floor, excuse me. Arms straight up. Curl up for yoga traffic. Sit up. Pull on the back of the thighs, shins parallel to the floor. You could keep the pull or extend your arms up. Palms up is going to be a little more challenging. Add a twist or stay centered. Arms overhead, twist your right thumb behind you. Maybe straighten the legs. Big inhale through center. Exhale, twist to the left. See your left thumb. Maybe even working your legs straight for more challenge. Arms overhead, bring your arms parallel to the floor. Hover heel, shoulders. You could look towards your feet, it's going to be a little easier. And then swim out your feet. It's kind of fun. You could zigzag. You could look for the ceiling, that'll make it extra challenging, if you wish. Maybe even arms overhead. Reach back, big inhale, open mouth, exhale. Some wiggles maybe here. And then we'll bend the knees. Rock and roll sit up. Grab the tops of the feet without crossing your arms. Roll forward two, three times. If you have an extra one, that's okay. Plant your palms. Say hi to your friend. <laughs> High plank. So you could do a vinyasa there, or just come to your plank. Lower the elbows down for more challenge, or keep your plank. It's going to be a little easier. You could go into a side plank here, a forearm stand, push-ups, or you could just rest on your belt. Whatever you're feeling. Sometimes extra strength. Some days not so much. And lower the belly down. Rest your head. Take a few breaths here. Feeling sweaty, grab your towel. <laughs> we'll move next into our Cobra Series, spinal strengthening. Palms underneath the shoulders. This is about the legs, one tail. Exhale on an inhale. Lift up. You could hover your hands, as Heidi's shown in the demo. Interlock. Excuse me, press through the fingertips. High Cobra. Press down. Feet are hips width, shoulders away from the ears. Exhale, release. And lower down. Breathing. Half locust next. Roll the arms underneath you, palms flat, fingers fan wide. Chin forward, exhale on an inhale, lift your right leg. Hip and forearm are connected. Leg is straight. If you can't get the elbows underneath you, you can bend elbows alongside your body. Switch to the left leg. Reach super long, leg is straight. Spread your toes and then lower your left leg. Roll the arms closer into your body. Exhale on an inhale. Both legs come up. Maybe all the way up. And if you're all the way up, you can go in. Have fun. 
legs are super straight. Lift a little higher. Work that strength. Shoulders press down. And when you lower, make it nice and slow and graceful. You came in, right ear to the mat, gaze left. Breathe into your back. Hear your heartbeat into the floor. 100% effort, followed by 100% relaxation. Purna Shalabhasana, the full locust. Everything is lifting off the floor. Your arms, chest, belly, thighs. You could interlock fingers, which helps you lift a little higher. You go super yogi, arms extend forward and up. It's gonna be extra strength, extra challenge. Lift the legs, lift the arms, feet, hips width. Squeeze your feet closer together, big breath. And then release, left ear, lift right. Move into your back. Spine rise on the inhale and fall on the exhale. Floor bows last. The cobra down rasana. Grab the tops of the feet from the outside. Exhale and an inhale. Kick. Over time, you can go from the tops of the feet to the ankles, maybe to the shins. Eventually, your knees or legs are going straighter and straighter. Roll forward to your chest. Kick high. You can rock forward and back. You massage your organs. Always feels good. Point the toes and release. Right ear, gaze left. You want to your legs to release the low back. And press back into your child's pose. Knees wide. Keep your body forward. Work it down. Take a few breaths. Recenter. Come back to your intention. If you need more time, you could always stay here and rest as long as you need. Once you know that you have your breath, You're ready to continue. Move into Vidrasana or Supta Vidrasana, the hero's pose. Rise top of the mat, bring your knees as close together as they go comfortably. If you can, bring them all the way touch. Sit in between your heels towards the floor, maybe on the floor. And if you're there, lower slowly, carefully, one elbow, one arm at a time. If you're all the way to your elbows, you might be able to go to your shoulders. Bring your palms shoulders. And grab box of elbows or stretch your arms straight back. Really any arm variations. So a little foot massage like Heidi's doing, it's always nice. When you come up, keep hugging the knees together. We'll press through the floor, lift your hips. You can walk up the knees, put all that blood and color back through, or you could just hold a static belt. Knees down for rabbit, grab heels behind you. Chin to chest, curl down to so the top of your head is on the floor, forehead as close to the knees as possible. Ladies, if you have a high bun, you might want to move it around so you can really get the crown of the head on the floor. Forehead as close to your knees as possible. Pull on your heels, lift your hips up when you release. Make it slow, head up last. You might like to pause after that one. It's pretty intense for a pull. Next for camel or deep is back then. Knees, feet, hips width. You could reach for your heels to go deeper or just keep the hands on your hips. Press your hips forward. If you have your heels, head goes all the way back. And if not, go forward. Deep breaths, your heart is lifting. Deep is back then or can be as a sequence. Rise up, hands to hips. Cross the feet of the ankles. Lie onto your back. Moving into inversion territory. So if you have a different inversion you'd like to go for right here, nice to do that. Moving into legs up the wall to prepare for shoulder stand. You could stay here the whole time, especially if you have neck or back issues or injury. Remain there, and if not, catch your lower and middle back and hands. Feet and ankles forward, hips towards the back of the room. Make sure not to turn your head in this pose for safety. Either staying with your shoulder stand, you can remain there the whole time, or hinge at your hips, plow halasana. Move the overhead towards the floor, if touching interlock grip at the base of spine, stretch, if not, hold your lower back. To deepen, you could bend the knees either side of your head, karna pindasana, you know, to cover your ears, or even grab the heels so the knees drawing closer towards your shoulders. Eventually, knees, feet on the floor in this one. And we'll rise up back, shoulder stand, and roll down, root over at a time. Bend the knees at the bottom, you can let your knees fall into each other for a few breaths. Preparing for our bridge and wheel. Final bit of strength. 
Feet are hips width, toes straight, lift your hips. Either hold your low back or interlock fingers underneath you. Press hips to the ceiling, heels are heavy into the floor, even distance between feet and knees here. Either stay bridge or go for wheel, a little deeper, rotate your arms back, plant the palms, fingers forward, the crown of your head, or you can press all the way up right into it. So your arms will go straight, your big toes turn in, lift your hips, breathing. Or you lower chin to chest so your neck is safe and go for a happy baby once you're all the way down. Grab the outer edges of your feet, pop a little side to side, or you could just pull like Margaret's doing in the center for a deep hip stretch. Rocking is more a low back massage. Rock and roll sit up, forward and back as many times as you wish, two to three times usually, plant the palms. Walk or float. You could take a vinyasa here, more strength, or just press right into down dog. Feet together, lift the right leg, bend the knee, open your hip. Shoulders are square. And then guide the right knee forward behind your right wrist, right ankle behind the left wrist. Stay upright until you're assured that the only sensation you're feeling is in the right hip, not the knee. You can pull to the elbows. You could outstretch your arms, however you're most comfortable. It's mostly about breathing into your right hip. Head right shin forward, more parallel if you need a deeper stretch. As much as you can square your left hip down, if you're feeling pain in the knee, lean more to the right hip. Deepest breaths of your whole practice. Great pose for a long hold again. Opening up those hips. Releasing the unwanted energy and bad emotions that might be circulating. This is a great way to let that go. Bring some space with your breath. And press back, downward facing dog. Switch side. Bring your big toes together first. Your hips are square, lift the left leg, bend the knee, open your hip. Look forward as you guide your left knee to your left wrist. Right leg stretch back. Your right toes are pointing straight behind you. Square the right hip down. Create a nice parallel shin with the left leg as much as you can go forward. If you're fully parallel, flex your left toes. And Tracy's actually holding on to her foot, as well as Heidi is bracing her foot with her forearm. Just creates a little bit more security if you feel like maybe you're slippery. I'm just a little sweaty in this practice. And if you don't need that extra brace, you could extend your arms forward or do what Margaret's doing. Make a nice little pillow for yourself. Spine long, deep breaths into your left hip. Keep your seat this time, hands walk in. Pivot over the right leg, so your left foot's on the inner right thigh. Right toes flex, inhale, arms overhead, and interlock 10 fingers, and curl, pull on the ball to right. Forehead to your knee. You may have to bend the right knee to connect the forehead and knee. Left shoulder drops to level off with the right. Flex your right toes, pull back. Release for revolved head to knee. Aretha Jumpsters Asana. Widen left foot, hips are square to the wall you're facing. Or you can go into a half hero position, just like Tracy's doing. Reach for opposite heel, extend and revolve that left shoulder back, right shoulder under heart to sky. And then rise for the other side. Right foot in, left leg wide, arms overhead, interlock fingers, palms facing works too, you can curl in and interlock, come down, pull on the ball of the foot, flex the left 
goes towards you. Forehead to knee, curl in. Once the left leg goes straight, you can start to extend the crown of your head towards the top of the foot. Looking right knee heavy to the floor. Another curl and extend as you pull and press through the left foot. As much as you're pulling, you're pressing. 50 50 stretch. Come up for Padrita, Dinosaur Sasana. You could even stay in the previous pose. You can pull that right knee into half hero if that's your variation, or you could just widen your right foot here. Reach big left toe, piece fingers, or outer foot extend and revolve, heart open. Lengthen as you twist. Twisting backward bend. Long open heart. Deep breaths as you flex that left foot. And when you release, we'll come up. You can either choose cobbler pose, that soles feet together, butterfly, as Heidi is demonstrating, or you can take straddle position, as shown by Tracy and Mark. Press forward from behind you. You could pull on your feet if you're in the butterfly pose. Margaret's a little bendier, lower belly to mat, chest to mat eventually, and forehead with a nice straight spine. You can stay lifted on the elbows if you're still working that length and flexibility a little bit more. And the groin, inner thighs, eventually belly to the floor first. Focus on maintaining open in your spine. Okay, if there's a little bit of flexion or rounding, as long as you're still actively lengthening. And then face forward for your seated twist. Left leg under, you can straighten the left leg, you can bend it, right heel outer edge of your left knee. And then left elbow, outer edge, right knee as you inhale, sit tall. Exhale, twist back. You see that Margaret moved into a bind. She's going for it, right arm through. And clasp the hands or keep it nice and simple. Heidi showing that nice 90 degree angle with the right arm as you twist back. Oh, left arm, excuse me. Switch your legs. Right elbow outer left knee. So the right arm can stay 90 in this one. Or you can add your binds. If you're working up to a bind, right hand, right knee is a good option where you get the best length. Inhales for length, exhales to twist yourself. You're leaning that upper body back. Deep breaths. And then come back to center. breathing exercise or just a seated meditation. Thanks so much for joining us. This is our final Shavasana. It's time to reflect on your practice and a few last jai breaths, eventually letting control of the breath. You can stay here as long as you'd like. It's been an honor to guide you through your practice. Thanks for tuning in. Namaste.